now coming to installation this type of rubber bellows are mainly used at cooling water pump suction and discharge nozzle let us take an example now suppose this is one installation of cooling water pump in front of a cooling water sump like this this is the bell mouth then this is suction line first isolation valve then strainer this may be conical strainer or y strainer then eccentric reducer on suction side and on discharge side this is expander then non return valve or check valve then isolation valve then suppose the line is going to underground so in this scenario the suction line is embedded with purple plate like this in rcc wall of cooling water sum in this configuration when we tighten flange joint of any valve or flange joint of any strainer then huge load will come on pump nozzle similarly when we tighten flange of this check valve or flange of this isolation valve then huge load will come to this pump nozzle otherwise this gasket will not be leak tight so we need to provide rubber bellow like this here this is the rubber bellow on suction side this is the rubber bellow on discharge side like this so while installing this pump and this suction line and discharge line any misalignment axially may be 5 mm or 10 mm laterally may be 5 mm or 10 mm can be adjusted in this bellow similarly on discharge side also any misalignment can be adjusted in this bellow and after tightening all these bolts then we tighten the nut and lock nut of this rubber bellow so that axial compression or axial extension or lateral deflection will already be taken by the bellow and load will not come to pump nozzle so this suction side bellow and this discharge side bellow will take misalignment during the installation but after installation tie rod and nuts of this bellow and this bellow will remain kept tight so after installation of the bellow we should keep this tie rod as tight like this as tight like this similarly here also this tie rod and tie rod nuts should be kept tight tight or about 1 mm gap axially 1 mm gap suppose pump discharge size is say 20 inch that means 500 mm nb if we keep this tie rod loose then what will happen due to internal pressure say internal pressure is 10 bar gauge then this axial load this axial load will be pi into 20 inch means 500 mm dia 50 cm into 10 kg per cm square divided by 4 equals to 19625 kg so this much of load about 19 or 20 ton load will act across the bellow in this direction and in this direction due to this load this pipe joint may crack or this pump nozzle may crack 
so always better to keep this tie rod tight tight means tight with maximum 1 mm gap so that this load will be taken care by the tie rod and before that we have already taken care any misalignment with the pump with the pipeline suppose the pump vendor is supplying companion flange at suction and companion flange at discharge so with the rubber bellow we need not to purchase metallic counter flange one side of rubber bellow will be bolted with this pump integral flange and this companion flange will come here will be used on other side of the bellow so for this bellow installation we need not to purchase any metallic flange if the companion flange is provided by pump vendor so during installation of the bellow whatever piping misalignment is there may be axially like this may be laterally like this will be taken care by the bellow and then after tightening all other piping joints we have to tighten this nut and lock nut like this with about 1 mm gap only like this this side also tightened so the playing will be about 1 mm only like this see this is 1 mm so that when bellow will tend to expand pressure thrust will not go to piping system in this configuration the stretcher plate is always bolted with outside metallic flange so the stretcher plate is rigid and there will not be any effect on stretcher plate when we tighten or loosen the bolt sometimes for small pump this is one end suction top discharge pump this is discharge flange and this is counter flange when we mount the rubber bellow like this on discharge and make this counter flange here then what happens we will face problem of providing this stretcher plate here here because this stretcher plate may foul with the pump body so in that case it will be better we provide one spool piece of pipe like this then we provide rubber bellow here like this now the stretcher plate will come here 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 and here so stretcher plate will not foul with pump body this is one piece of retainer ring and this is another piece of retainer ring like this this retainer ring splitting has been provided on bolt hole like this we could have provided splitting of the retainer ring somewhere here and somewhere here instead of splitting at the bolt hole location but the problem is that if we split the retainer ring here and here then while tightening the bolt rubber will come out in this space in this split joint rubber may come out but when we provide retainer ring splitting at bolt hole location then rubber will be compressed and rubber will be compressed to the bolt hole so rubber will not come out and another important point we should always provide this stretcher plate outside of metallic flange so that when we keep the tie rod bolted tight then nothing will happen to the bellow it will remain tight but if we by mistake if we provide stretcher plate like this inside means 
over the retainer ring then what will happen when we will tight the tie rod like this then this retainer ring will tend to come out and there will be chance of leakage through this joint like this so always we should provide stretcher plate outside of metallic flange not inside the retainer ring now you can see leakage through a rubber bellows because stretcher plates have been mounted inside the retaining ring against soft rubber this is wrong installation stretcher plates should have been mounted outside of rigid metallic flange